Hey guys, just gonna show you how to uh, make a backpack blower rack. Very simple, doesn't take much. Basically, you uh, need a, just a cheap welder from Harbor Freight and just a small piece of angle iron that I'm, that's just, I found that laying around. And then I got this from Tractor Supply, just a two by two angle iron and a two inch piece. And then I uh, took some rebar and bent a hook and that's how it's gonna mount. And I just bungeed that there. So basically I took the big piece of angle iron, cut it as wide as the blower so that it could uh, sit right on top and that's the platform. And then I took the smaller piece of angle iron, cut it down to the right height of the blower and then welded the rebar so that it sits right on it. And I put this bungee on, that's the only reason these are here so that this doesn't go back and forth. But I don't think you'd have any problem with this bouncing off at all. And then I just took two bolts and went right through the trailer and i mean this thing's solid the blower's not going anywhere but and then also if you wanted to you could weld a piece on top of here and then put a uh hinge and put it to and maybe put something on here so that it could lock and then it would lock the blower right on but for us we don't really do too many ones so this is just a cheap, easy way to uh, build a blower rack instead of throwing it in the back of the truck every time. So I'll show you the next All right, step. so here it is without the blower on it. So you can see easier how it uh, how it is. Don't mind my not so pretty welds. This one's not too bad, but I'm still uh, getting better at it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is build a base so that it's about 18 inches wide. So I'm gonna cut the bigger piece. And this is a four inch angle iron. Mm -hmm. But you could probably get away with a two inch or so, just enough to get enough meat onto the uh, top of the trailer. And then I basically just cut this piece in half at about 18 inches. And then the other angle iron is uh, 28 and a little over 28 inches. So basically just to wherever the top of the angle iron was flat is where I cut it, it wasn't exact. So once I cut those, I put the blow, I built it before cutting this because I wanted to make sure that I had enough and then I cut that after. So that was pretty easy. But that's how it looks without any blower on it. And then obviously I'll paint it, but I'm gonna put the other one right over there. So then the this hose goes down this way and then that hose will go down that way. And then one guy on each side of the truck can get it right in the front of the trailer. So I think that's pretty convenient. And then our Wee Whacker and Edger go on the side over there. Okay, now so far I measured right in the middle of this and then middle of the 18 inches. And I just tacked it on right now. So now you can see that we have it like this. Like I said, I still haven't trimmed up here. I just leave it full length. And now I, for the first time I set the blower down on top of that and then measured up to see where the handle goes. But obviously this time now I can just reference that one and measure how high I need to put it. But the next step would be to find where to put the uh, hook, weld that on and then trim the top off. So I'll check back in okay, once so this is the final product. I ended up cutting this piece and this piece, or one piece, I cut them in half. Welded everything on, drilled the hole all the way through the trailer, welded all the back, and then drilled holes for the bungees. Now it's hanging on a shovel because I'm gonna paint it, but that's how it goes. Drilled there, I closed this side, and then this bungee will go right around the blower to hold it down tight. Here's the other one. 
So pretty simple, very, uh, very heavy duty. You could trim this down lower, but I think that uh, I'd rather have it higher so that there's no chance of the blower bouncing off, but there it is. Final. All right, so this is the final product. They're still a little tacky, but I went ahead and bolted them up. So it's, looks good. Looks back, looks like something you'd buy. Doesn't look chintzy or too, too bad. So if you have any questions, comment below.